kind of excited for this one. Thought of it all by myself last night. So how do I even introduce this? I love sloths and um, I'm just gonna start introducing all the sloths in my life and all the different forms of sloths and their stories and yeah. The first sloth of the day is the OG, Mr. Molasses. He started my obsession. But isn't he cute? He's, he's my first sloth. I think he's adorable. His face is all lopsided, but he's cute. I got another sloth. And then my first, the first thing that came to mind was Mr. Molasses has a girlfriend. So now we have Mrs. Molasses. <laughs> she's pink, you know, she's like a whole other species cause she's fluffy, but she's cute. And that, oh, she's lopsided too. Maybe they're all lopsided. Then there's this one. I don't remember how I got him, where I got him from, but he's cute. Easter sloth. So Easter sloth has a little egg, look. And he's like, I think it's like a sloth in a, in a bunny costume. It's cute. This was a gift for me and I found out too early and I insulted him before, you know, receiving him because my aunt always hides my toys in her room. That sounds like such a kid thing to say. Um, she always hides, you know, like I said, like all my gifts for my birthday, for Christmas, for Valentine's Day. She has all the holidays. She always hides them in her closet. And she left her closet open. And I was like, who got you that ugly, dirty sloth over there? I only said it because I was jealous, but he's cute. So this is my Easter sloth. And then this one. So this one actually has a twin before I show it to you. My little, my other little brother, he got he got one for me, and it, it's a like the Beanie Babies kind of sloth kind of things. So he he got one for me, and then like two months after, my aunt got me the same one. So I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna tell them apart? So I was wearing red socks, and I was like, I don't need these red socks. So to differentiate the two, I made a shirt with one sock, and I made like a head wrap with the other sock, and I gave them names. I already forgot the names, but the one with the head wrap is still here. And tell me this is not the cutest head wrap you have ever seen made with a sock. Probably the only head wrap you've ever seen made with a sock. Tell me this is not so cute. It comes with a name, but I never go by those dangler. Like, come on, who does that? I'm gonna let her have her moment. She's so cute. I sound like, I sound like a crazy cat lady, but like, look, look. Thanks for staying in the video this long. This is, okay. So now we're done with the sloth plushies. Now I have other sloth things. My sloth piggy bank. He's got quarters in here for whenever I do laundry, which is like all time. But look, he's cute. So next are my sloth socks. So my best friend got these for me, hey Sam. And I always find special occasions for my sloth socks. I have a whole bunch of like black and gray socks that I just kind of cycle through or whatever. So let me introduce my neighbor. That sound you just heard, which I'm hoping you heard because it will be the first time anybody in this apartment has caught it on video. But those are the noises we hear on a regular. That's my life. But anyways, like I was saying, I find special occasions for these socks because they're my special socks. So I wear sloth socks for my birthday, when I go to sleepovers. This is like the most childish video there is, but I love my sloth socks. Hence, this. that's why these still have the the thingy on them. And I didn't want to show any of my other sloth socks because socks get dirty on the bottom even after you wash them. And I'm not trying to have anybody be like, oh, she's showing her dirty socks. But they're not dirty, they're washed, but they still get the stuff on the bottom and I can't help that. So I'm showing you these. This is my sloth basket. This is from this Easter that just passed. So for him, me and my boyfriend were in a Dwayne Reed in Atlanta and it was like around Easter time. So they had a bunch of Easter baskets and this is one of them, it's a little sloth hanging from a little handle branch, which is really cute. It's, it's not a practical thing because like the handle does that, like it's not sturdy, so I can't really use it for things, but the bottom is hard. Oh, uh, look at me doing a little sloth bag review. Yeah. Next, we have my sloth slippers. They're really fuzzy on the inside and look, look at their fuzzy. And they're really cute and I really don't like wearing slippers, but the only slippers I will wear are these. Like I've had an issue since I was like born, where I don't like wearing slippers in the house. That's not my, it's not my kind of thing. I wear socks, not slippers, but I'll wear these. And they keep you really warm. They're really good, really, really good. My sloth book. 
Now, it looks like a joke kind of book, but I think it's really good. It's called Be More Sloth by Allison Davies. I don't know how relevant that is to this, but it's it's really cute. It has like, like, look, let me go, let me just, I'm going to blindly go to a page. The truest wisdom is a resolute determination. Wow. Wow. Knowledge. Next, we have my sloth coloring book. So, it has like a whole bunch of sloth pictures in it that are like really abstract. And this is where I didn't finish, but I finished most of it. This one is really cute, but I didn't finish it. See, look, can you see it? Yeah, the thing that holds all the things that I color with, my sloth cup. So these are all my pens and I like color coded pens because that's how I organize my life. And isn't he cute? I didn't want to use him for drinking because when I get cups, I'm not looking for, I'm looking for the most practical practical cup, I'm not looking for this mug. So I decided to use it for my, my pens. And isn't it so cute? Look at it, look at it. So for the final thing, I don't have it out in my room because I have too many things out and I don't, I really don't like clutter, but I've decided that when I move out, this is gonna be the thing that's gonna be like on the coffee table or somewhere that like people pass by a lot and they at first glance they're like, wait, is that? And then they look closer and they're like, what? So first we have the sloth in a lotus. Is it lotus? Yeah, in like the lotus position. Look at it, look at it. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, and now we have the sloth in downward facing dog with a leg up. I don't know what that pose is called, but. <laughs> Just lost a hand. I'm going to be carefully holding all of them for the rest of them. So this can it focus? So this is a sloth doing the, s the snake. That's the other end of it. Look, imagine how it looks together because I'm not gonna hold them all dainty anymore. This one is the sloth, that's a sloth's head. So he's laying on his back and these are his legs. Now it's really cute and I wish you could see it in all in one piece but since the other one broke we're not doing that and finally we have this one he's just doing mountain pose can this oh oh there it goes doing mountain pose those are his feet yeah okay so that's like 85 percent of my sloth collection because I have more sloth things I just don't think that they're interesting enough to put on camera so yeah um you have seen my slots if you made it this far thank you so much for indulging in my sloth obsession and um i hope to give you some more crackhead content in the next video please take this as an opportunity to explore my weirdness and ask me for you know more videos and stuff so yeah oh my god this feels nice i i feel comfortable enough to say goodbye on this one so like comment and subscribe do that stuff and i will see you next time bye i did the bye thing okay but that one sounded a little more different than my old one because i was like bye i didn't do the bye i think hmm still debatable okay bye